This gentleman's name is Don, and he showed up at Huntington Beach here in California for the sole purpose of straightening me out when it came to my understanding of the Catholic Church. As he walked by me, he said, you are anti-Catholic, and that certainly got my attention. He kindly agreed to come on camera, and this is how our conversation began. So this is Ray Comfort. Apparently somebody's, uh, you know, so somebody that's not an atheist is annoyed by uh, by his uh, dishonesty as well. So this could be kind of fun to, to react to. So I am Brentley. Uh, this is the Punk Apostate. Let's go. Like I said, this, you know, I like to mess with Ray Comfort. Good old Ray, you know, he's just, he's fun to, <laughs> he's fun to watch uh, himself. Just, he just, he's fun to watch annoy people, really. And I don't think he realizes <laughs> how annoying he actually is. So it's kind of funny. But let's, uh, let's check it out. So this guy, I guess, hunted him down to have a conversation with him. Let's see. You're very anti-Catholic. You're anti-me. It's based on ignorance. That is actually a lie. I've seen your videos. They're not honest. Where have I lied on my videos? Do you think I hate Catholics? Yeah. Galileo. He was put in prison by the Catholic Church. No, he doesn't. That's a false story. <laughs> Ray Comfort gets owned by Catholics. This gentleman's name Whoa. is Don. He showed up at Huntington <laughs> Beach here in California for the sole purpose of straightening me out when it came to my understanding of the Catholic Church. As he walked by me, he said, you are anti-Catholic. And that certainly got my attention. He I kindly mean, agreed to... I mean, he is really anti-Catholic. He, he, he does never... He never, like, misses an opportunity to say that they're not real Christians. <laughs> you know? I feel like he said it... I, I, I mean... I, at least like one every three video. I watch a lot of his videos. So like, don't don't tell anybody. Um, but <laughs> he does it a lot. Let me just say, you know. <laughs> you come on camera, and this is how our conversation began. You ask me, have I ever looked at a woman in lust? Have I ever <laughs> lied? Have I ever cheated? All these stuff, and you say, ah, you've just said you're this. No, that doesn't define me. So he's already old oh man. He, he's just right out the gate, being like, I know your bag. <laughs> So what defines you? Morality is it's it's a definition of how you carry yourself, your ethics, what you believe in, your faith. Now, how did you start this conversation before we turn the camera on? Because I think that's relevant. <laughs> well, I, I've seen your videos, and you're very anti-Catholic. So what do you have to do to enter heaven as a Catholic? Same thing that you guys believe you do. You have to recognize Jesus Christ is your own personal savior. No it's, one goes through heaven. It's so funny that they're going to sit here and fight. They're like, blah, 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 blah. hey, hey, we all basically believe the same thing, but we're doing it differently. And so you're stupid. All right. Because like, like well, what do you, how do you got to get in heaven? I don't know. The same thing that you think we got to get. In heaven. Why are we fighting again? I don't even know. Like. Oh, because it's religion and it's meant to just divide us and make us mad about nonsense. But through me. Yeah, so why are you so upset and saying I hate Catholics? That's all I well, tell them. Why wouldn't anybody? If, if, you, if you're anti-Catholic, you're anti-me, right? No, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> me? What? No. I <laughs> Very much. Cool. I care about you. That's what you say. Yeah, what else can I do? <laughs> I've seen your videos. They're not honest. Where have oh. I lied on my videos? Okay, you made a statement to someone. When you think about Christianity, what do people think? And they say, well, it's the Crusades, it's the Inquisition, it's all these things that Christians done. You go, no, 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 no. That's the Catholic faith. Don't you know anything about that? You mean the Catholic <laughs> Inquisition? <laughs> the Inquisition. So I've studied it. No, you didn't. Okay, where did he get it wrong? There's no, there's no inquisition. No, that's not what I'm saying. There was. Just visualize these monks from Monty Python, you know, one of those Monty Python videos. I've with, not seen those. Uh, you, <laughs> of course he hasn't seen them. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm going to go personally, you know, uh, purposefully give myself a heart attack here. Let me just go watch these movies. <laughs> I will burst the vein in my forehead, you know, to go on purpose to go see those fucking things. Yeah, they're kind of funny, though. Blast. <laughs> Why they're blasphemous? They're blasphemous. You can't like a lot like that. You can't like those kinds of jokes. Have you ever laughed at a blasphemous joke in your heart? Okay. Well, all right. And yeah, I'm going to hell. Okay. See, I was right about Catholics the whole time. He cares if it's blasphemous, right? I it's do. Church, right? No, I care if it's oh, blasphemous. Okay. blaspheme in the name of Jesus. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> okay. So where are you going when you die? <laughs> so, alrighty. So he's already shaming. <laughs> But I'll, I'm just more Christian than you, okay? I'm going to heaven. Why? I'm pretty sure. 
pretty sure? I'm pretty sure. I don't want to say you're pretty sure. You want to know. That's the teaching of the Bible. I know I'm going to heaven. <laughs> it's so funny that they they go through this like no they they do like the exact opposite of like what you should do like the guy was actually being honest for about half a second you know and ray's like you better stop being honest there okay just say that you know something you couldn't possibly know just do it do it otherwise you're not a good christian do it confession earlier today which i know you don't believe in but you know i believe in confession but directly to god like the scriptures teach like David confessed directly to God when he yeah, said, yeah, but Jesus, they get so hung up on the dumbest shit. Jesus also told uh, disciples, yeah. you know, God sent me, so I sent you. You have the power to retain the sins. We both have the power to do that. We can forgive I mean, people. And Michael said, uh, is this another one of those Catholics aren't real Christians things? Yeah, basically. I mean, uh, Ray does talk about that a lot. You know, I don't know if if he's sitting here trying to act like he doesn't say that a lot. Um, but as far as I remember, because I, I make that joke all the time that he's like, oh, yeah, they're like demon worshipers or whatever because they're Catholic. Because that's the type of stuff they think. They think they do like pagan rituals and stuff like that, which get, don't, don't get me wrong. Look, if you look at what the Catholic Church does and the way that they do their rituals and stuff seems pretty fucking weird. OK, like I don't <laughs> you know, I get how they got there. That's all I'm saying. But it's so obviously the same religion. And it, the ironic part is that the evangelicals came out of the Catholic Church. So if they think, you know, if they're like, oh, we're trying to do it back down, you know, back to the original way. No, you changed the original way, which was the Catholic Church, because that was the first church after the Anyway. Well, not yeah, forgive sure. Them. Actually, the church believes that, too. So let me give my testimony and see what you think. Tell me where I'm wrong. Oh, great. The reason I came to Christ is because I knew I'd sinned against God. I felt I was going to heaven until I read the words of Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount. Whoever looks upon a woman to lust for her has committed adultery already with her in his heart. And I thought, man, if God, the that guy needs like some serious ear clipper. Like I this is my biggest fear right here is having stuff like this going on and like being unaware of it. You know what I mean? We're just like, well, like, getting old's going to suck. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm a punker. Like this shouldn't matter to me. If anything, but like, holy shit. That is just, I would not be able to stop looking at that. You know, if he was talking to me, I'd be like, can you turn your head to the side? Okay, now, I, no, I just, no, I can look at you. There you go. God's going to judge me by that standard on judgment day. I'm going to hell because I was burning with unlawful <laughs> sexual desire like every red-blooded guy. And if you want to come to Christ, no. <laughs> look at the tree. So the reason I come to Christ is his abs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you want to come because of some abs, just go to adamandeve.com just go to adamandeve.com enter code word brentley at checkout that's the the word at the bottom of the screen here uh and get your uh get your exclusive offer that's 50 percent off almost any one item six free movies three free gifts and free shipping on the whole order okay it's too early for an ad break i'm sorry all right but that was just that was pretty good thanks thanks for that look at the trees uh it's helpful you know <laughs> y'all just shoehorning in my uh <laughs> my ad breaks that's great and that's when I understood the cross. We broke God's law. Jesus paid the fine, rose from the dead, defeated death. And all we have to do to find everlasting life <laughs> is repent of our sins and put our faith. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Fecanal. Fecanal? Okay. Uh, is that a couple of angry toddlers? <laughs> I mean, that is, yeah. I mean, that's what they always sound like when there's like two people arguing about the magic that you do. <laughs> you know, like, you guys wear the wrong kind of ropes. Okay, you're supposed to wear a Hawaiian shirt with skinny jeans. I don't fucking know. What does he go to a mega church? I don't know. What do they wear at mega churches? <laughs> Hawaiian shirts, right? Like you gotta, you're dressed like Hunter S. Thompson minus the short shorts, right? I don't know. <laughs> Faith in Jesus. That's what I tell Catholics who have never been born again. So you think Catholics don't know that? I say, have you been born again? They say, no. I think, well, this is an unsafe person. I'm going to share the gospel with them. And that's what I get railed for by Catholics, by sharing the gospel. A lot of people. And if you want to get railed, just go to adamandeve.com, okay? And get 50%. Just put in Brentley at checkout. Just back to the side. <laughs> they keep on saying sexual stuff. It's not my fault, man. I, you know, stop being so overtly sexual, Ray. 
you know, you clearly look at women with lust in your heart if you're talking like that. You know what I'm saying? When you approach them with a <laughs> microphone, they think on the spot. They have to think on the spot. So they don't always say the right things, right? When it talks about lust, I mean, there has to be a context there, I think, because lust, isn't that like a mechanism for reproduction? No. Lust is unlawful. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what is it unlawful? It's, no, it is not a mechanism. <laughs> wow, man. Think of being that deluded that you can't even acknowledge like the physical aspect of what lust is because you're so brainwashed into your religion that it is so detached from anything in reality that it only has to do with his God and like what they don't want you to do. That is amazing. Holy shit. Violating God's law. You know the difference when you look at pornography. That's lust. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. What's the you have oh. a conscience? So what? It's what you're lusting at. <laughs> so if you do it for your wife, though, or you know, then it's not lust. What, man? That makes no sense. <laughs> the conscience knows the difference. Some people say, "Oh, Jesus was talking about married women because he said you commit adultery in your heart when you look with lust." But that's crazy because that means every woman you want to lust up, you've got to go up to her and say, excuse me, are you married or not? Does that mean you can look at porn with a single woman? Yeah, it's almost like the Bible's stupid. And the, the things that they say don't make any sense or something. But not married woman. No, Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, commit adultery it's, with her in your heart. You know, it's, it's really weird. Like I, I had a conversation with somebody the other day and they were talking to me about how uh, like all the in-depth, like, uh, I don't know, just like calendar type stuff that, that it, that, goes with astrology and like you know how this means that and they've, they've just mapped this thing out so far you know and you're just like you know i'm listening to this person and they know so much about this stuff and it's all nothing you know all the stuff that they're learning that they know about is literally nothing you know it doesn't mean anything it's just literally made up you know but they like they get so deep in the weeds like trying to figure out the nothing you know uh, it's like, like it almost reminds me of like a comic book person, you know, that's like obsessed with like knowing all the comic book stuff, except that I would think that that would be more uh, you'd, you could do more with that because at least you can explain shit about the movies and stuff, you know, when people ask questions. But like with astrology and stuff like this, it's completely useless. They just they know about so much. They thought about just this nonsense so much. <laughs> it's just so sad. I'm just like, what a waste of brain energy, man. Holy shit. And every time we sin, we store up God's wrath. That's what the Bible teaches, Romans chapter 2. So we need to repent, put our trust in Jesus, and have our sins washed away. God sounds like an asshole. I swear they, like the, him doing this has made more atheists than it has Christians. I, I would be, you know, I would, I, that would be my, you know, like putting my, my guess on the, the pickle jar or whatever, how many, however many pickles are in there or whatever. Uh, yeah, I think that Ray has made more atheists than Christians, if I were to take a, a guess. And evidence of that is that we'll love righteousness. And we'll have a knowledge of everlasting life because we've been born again. Does that make sense? Yeah. No. Do you think I hate that? <laughs> yeah. I, I think I still think you do. Because it's based on ignorance. It's because there's a lot of anti there's a lot of churches that have been burned. Because there's a lot of anti-Catholics going on. Same with Jews, same with Christians all over the world. So it's just a hatred. Yeah, it's almost like just religion just breeds anger and hatred to anybody that's in the out-group. And then they start just out-grouping their in-group until, you know, the, all the in-groups almost look exactly the fucking same. But, you know, these slight little differences in there are enough for them to be like, fuck you! Yeah! Fuck you! Yeah, my try! My try! You're strong! Like that's <laughs> to the point where like somebody was like, that's it. Our, our family's lead. We're starting our own denomination. God damn it. Okay. Trip for the things of God. Pathetic. So if you may not realize this, but Don, I really love you. I care about oh, you. And, fuck. And, and I, uh, I hate that. I hate it when they do that. That is just, it's so obnoxious. Cause it's like, shut the fuck. No, you don't, man. I literally just met, like, define love, define what that means. Because I literally just fucking met you. If you think you love me, you, like this is nothing. Like, you don't know what the word means then. I hope you'll think about what we talked about. And can I give you a book I've written called Scientific Facts in the no, Bible? No, <laughs> no. Nah, I don't want that. It's written in a New Zealand accent. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. <laughs> a lot of people. Oh, man. Okay. I'm, I'm glad he included that joke. Because, <laughs> all right. All right. I'll give him that one. Credit where credit's due. That was cute. That was well, cute. think <laughs> that the Catholic Church. <laughs> was, was anti-science but actually a lot of scientific principles 
that were that are used today was discovered by Catholic priests. That's just because it was the most popular religion. I don't understand why they do this. It's really interesting to me that when they're like, oh, man, you know, you need to respect religion because the people that were scientists back in the day were also religious. And it's like, okay, so they, they were – when I hear that, I'm just like, okay, so they could think properly about certain things but not other things. Either that or they knew they had to lie. <laughs> you know, they, they could see right through the bullshit of religion but was like, if I say that I see through the bullshit, I'll get killed. So – let me just do my science and keep on playing pretensies with these weirdos, you know, that act like wizards or whatever, you know. Such as early mathematics, psychiatry, Galileo. He was put in prison by the Catholic no, Church. Wasn't. That's a false story. Pope John I, Paul II. I know nothing about this. <laughs> I know, honestly, like, uh, Galileo put in the uh, in prison. Like, I know he was martyred, right? or not martyred, but like he was killed. Uh, because he had the, um, he didn't, uh, what was it? He didn't, he, he didn't believe in the geocentric model of the universe, right? Is that my mistake? Because that, that, that's like, well, you get the, um, it's called the Galileo Gambit fallacy. Uh, and basically it's just the notion that, I'm sorry, I'll get to the <laughs> comment in a second. It's just the notion that, uh, you know, basically you're never going to have, it's extremely unlikely anyway, um, for an entire field of research to all be wrong. And um, so many pseudoscientists would say that, but like, oh, this is just the whole field of evolution is is wrong because I discovered this thing or whatever the field is, you know. And they call it the, the Galileo Gambit fallacy because they all cite Galileo, right? They're always like, oh, but you know, Galileo, man, he knew that we weren't the center of the universe and and nobody and you know he knew that before anybody else and they killed him for it they killed him so that's basically me right now i'm i'm basically fucking galileo at this moment in time okay i'm just saying <laughs> okay i figured it out i figured it out and they call it the gambit fallacy because it's so unlikely <laughs> that you would ever disprove an entire field of research the way that galileo did but and people and you know people constantly cite him anyway that's that's what the Galileo Gambit fallacy is. Let's see. Second rectified a wrong that forced the Italian astronomer and physicist to live the last years of his life in exile, and worse yet, to recant his proven discoveries to save his hide. Pope John Paul II concluded he had been imprudently opposed. That is a false story. I've actually. seen Catholics apologizing for it. <laughs> they didn't suck at history. You know, we got stupidity in every faith. So it did happen. <laughs> okay, Galileo. I will agree with that statement, sir. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, it's called begging the question, and it's a uh, stupidity that just permeates all of the faiths. <laughs> was a teacher at Catholic universities, and he started teaching heliocentrism. Hey, Michael, uh, Mike, uh, okay, one second. I will get back to that, buddy. Uh, Michael Nerum said, to be a good Christian, you can't have emotions other than being obsessed with God, since all other emotions are bad. I mean... I, that's not <laughs> that's pretty uh, like close to very accurate I, of course i'm sure they would disagree <laughs> you know but that is that that's what it ends up being like they say like don't be angry you know um i guess they do say to have joy but that's kind of something that you can't really decide to have it just sort of happens um i don't know uh that's a that's an interesting but yeah you're not allowed to have any fun because they want to monopolize the fun you know what i mean they want you they want you to only get fun brain activity from doing boring shit with them <laughs> that's what they want if you have fun anywhere else they're like oh how dare you have fun somewhere else <laughs> you know it's almost like watching the show without your girlfriend they get mad you know what I mean? They're like wait you had fun without me you can't do that all right like that's that's why they like that. Yeah. Scientists believed that time was, uh, the earth was the center of the universe. But he was teaching that the sun was the center of the universe, which he was right, of course. Yes, I think it touches on. on <laughs> oh, man. Al's fucking with him. Now, now you're ruining it for everybody, okay? Now everybody's going to start picturing Ray. God damn it, Al. You know, just ruining everybody's private fun. <laughs> Al said, when my wood is up, I think about anything. But Ray, I guess that would be a good trick to last longer. <laughs> you know, instead of grandma, just think about <laughs> Ray Comfort. Man. You can get orgasms for days out of that. <laughs> From Galileo, so you'll enjoy it. But he wasn't put in prison, though. 
his house arrest for what he well, believed. He wasn't tried for heresy. And he was basically saying, for you guys, I'll teach what I want. And they got tired of it. So they had a hearing. What was that from? An inquisition. Okay. I don't know. Okay. They didn't torture him. Didn't do his, his whole thing is going to be trying to prove that he's wrong. And I'm going to be straight up and fucking honest here. I don't trust that Ray Comfort knows the first fucking thing about, you know, uh, being able to tell actual scholarship sources from right wing Christian nonsense fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? That's just made up pseudo history, David Barton bullshit. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to, I don't take anything <laughs> that he is showing on the screen as fact. Okay. Uh, because I'm not, you know, we'll check on it later, but don't just, if Ray says it, assume it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> okay. Let me see here. False. Just imagine in this square mile how many people were burned for reading the Bible in English. And one of the principal burners and torturers of those who tried to read the Bible in English here in London was Thomas More. As far as like I understand, the Catholic Church really did not like people reading the Bible. They they wanted to be able to read it to you. Uh, and I think that it's be, it was for not I wouldn't say good reason, but it's pretty obvious why they did that because they didn't they it's so easy if you actually have the words in front of you to go, wait, this is what you got. You got what you just said out of this shit. How did you wait? Why? Why is it? Because you can see that they're just interpreting the fucking hell out of it. And you could easily reach completely different conclusions about, you know, their religion or whatever by reading the Bible. And the, the priest didn't want that, you know, <laughs> they wanted to be the uh main ones that say the interpretations of everything you know there's this guy who's been he has a youtube channel and he wants to debate you oh so terribly trent oh him have you ever considered that no i'd never consider it no this is somebody else i think he contacted your parish i don't have a parish <laughs> or whatever you call it i don't know your church. We don't do fucking parishes, you weirdo. <laughs> Next thing you're going to be talking about some metal band sounding thing called a diocese or some shit, you know? Church headquarters or I whatever. I don't have a church headquarters. I don't even have a church. I go to a church. Oh, you're Asian, huh? I'm just like you, Don. Okay. <laughs> yeah, except I just like lie to people on the street and man emotionally manipulate a bunch of people by shoving a microphone in them, their face as I make them feel guilty about stuff that doesn't make sense. Also, I can cure their guilt with my magic words or whatever. It gets owned by Catholic. It's the only way I can think of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck? Okay. Here he is. And he actually went over some of your videos That's here. That's hilarious. Of you confronting people who are Catholic. And oh, it's kind sharing of, the gospel I with mean, people who are Catholic. That's an excellent question. Michael said, but is Ray's goal to convert people or is it just to inflate his ego and make money? I I, I think the latter. <laughs> I think he rationalizes it with the former, but I think it's, you know, it's the latter. Of course, this is his business. You know, Living Waters is his, you know, it's his, his business venture. That's it. Definitely not. That's him right there. Our friends over at Living Waters, Ray Comfort. Oh, so now he's, okay, so I guess this is the video that uh, this guy, so this person really, really, really wants to debate Ray. <laughs> Which is really funny. Because I it's you know, we see him as this like idiot, you know. It's, it's like Ray Comfort is just this moron, you know. But other I like but it's funny to think that there are like Catholics and stuff that see Ray Comfort as like the evangelical Matt Delonte or something. <laughs> and gang are at it again spreading lies about Catholicism. He's been saying, I've been trying to reach out to Ray Comfort and you know, I can't get a hold of him it's not gonna happen no why not because it's like someone wanted to debate wanting to debate that the sun's made of ice i really haven't got time for that he could tell you <laughs> how it really is <laughs> i've watched his youtube channel i know what he says oh oh yeah, yeah. oh yes i'm very familiar with him yes yeah. ray comfort sounds catholic he goes around not teaching people faith alone he goes around teaching people that if you break the commandments you're going yeah. to be lost and we agree we have to follow the commandments even after you're saved jesus said it paul said it everyone says it that is just not true no, I, I have never said that and neither does the bible it says the opposite so yeah this is one of those 
And they, it's funny because they get so deep because the Bible actually says both. You know, that's the thing. It literally contradicts itself. So that's why it's so funny that like, and it really depends on which doctrine you're a part of, right? Where it's like, oh, f through faith, uh, not by works, lest any mention. But, but then you go to James and it's like faith without works is dead, you know? So it's like says basically the exact opposite thing. And, you know, I, most of the churches that I was familiar with said that you got to do both. Like one is like the uh, evidence of the the other like you you have you know that you have faith because of the works that you do or whatever but jesus does say you got to be beholden to the law until the heavens and the earth disappear so like the it it the book doesn't make sense it doesn't matter it doesn't matter okay it's a stupid book that doesn't make sense it doesn't isn't coherent it wasn't ri actually written by god so you know <laughs> says the opposite pain salvation <laughs> But as evidence Trans of salvation. Is that like what's the oh, uh, look at the tree said transubstantiation? Is is that the um <laughs> that's the what they actually believe that the the blood and flesh <laughs> actually turns in to real blood and flesh in the mouths of the priests that do the uh that do the Eucharist or whatever, right? <laughs> that's disgusting. Okay, that's sick. Can they taste it? I was wondering about. You know, they're like, mm, it tastes like raw beef. Ugh, it's gross. You know, like when you take a piece of raw beef and eat it, you know, uh, or like the very center of a hamburger. It goes from cracker to just slime. <laughs> just blood just coming out of his mouth like a fucking vampire. <laughs> Not bribery, but gratitude. Understanding this is the difference between life and death. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. S salvation is for everybody, right? Well, the offer is universal, and it's only those who are born again will enter God's kingdom according to Jesus. I have a good relationship with God, and I do believe that God does does forgive us for our sins. And because I am Catholic, I do believe How did he find in... Did this dude, like, all right, all the Catholics out over this way. Hey, everybody get ready. Catholics unite. <laughs> like what happens? Confessing my sins and being forgiven. Have you been born again? I was born September 11th, 1971, and I was baptized a Catholic, and I have been Catholic my entire life. Okay. You have told lies, whether you have had sex outside of marriage, whether you are homosexual, it does not matter. God loves his children, period. You're <laughs> blowing out of your... <laughs> nice i love this lady <laughs> like she's a christian but she's just like you're an asshole man <laughs> the courtesy of one minute please a whole minute yes mm. cannot earn eternal life the redemption of your soul is precious no man can by any means redeem his brother i am a catholic and i am proud of it but you know what <laughs> i'm not going to sit there and condemn anybody nor am i going to shove the bible down anybody's throat especially if they're a good person if they're a good human being if they're a good human being that is, oh, God, i love it when people I'll call human beings human beings yeah you're human beans <laughs> like they're refried human beings you know what i mean it just sounds weird once for our planet do unto others as you would have done to yourself that's it. That is a golden rule. That is what God wants us to live by. You need to accept that, and so does the rest of the world. Thank you. <laughs> you know, you should just assume that he's lying because it's Ray fucking Comfort. He's the most dishonest person there is. I, I've never, every single time I've ever seen him do any kind of debate with anybody, it's just a bunch of emotional manipulation. He can't, he can't back up his his uh, arguments at all. You know, I don't even think, and he doesn't even really make arguments. He just does the emotional manipulation thing. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't even know how to really uh, apologize for his positions. Thanks. Very much for talking. To You're me. welcome. <laughs> well, you have videos on there that says it shows a Catholic. Oh, that night. was a guy. <laughs> he was half drunk, and, and he was angry. Oh. He was angry at Catholicism. There's, there's a... We know there's a pedophile thing ring. And the, the Catholic Church, it sucks. It's annoying. I'm Catholic. It sucks too. Well, I'm Just hearing about that, it sure sucks. Problem. It's like, did he ping on Google? It was like, hey, can we all just meet up here? All Catholics meet here, and then we can shout at each other over the fucking deafening wind. What are they in Chicago? Like, what is this? Go and talk to the Pope. He's your boss. Yeah. Yes. And look what happened. And he's still not doing anything. And he's letting it happen. He's letting it happen. 
What are you gonna do? He's letting it happen. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Instead of preaching here, this like, reminds me of that. Fuck you, Tony. <laughs> the horses that go whatever. You know, hey dude, everything's all good. Tell them, yo. Fe uh, Fecanol said, uh, one of uh, one of the popes finally admitted Galileo was right and apolog <laughs> and apologized after hundreds of years. <laughs> They finally admit it. They wouldn't admit it. Uh, they just like sticking. Now we're actually sticking with the the old pre Galileo science, you know, just until we get some actual conclusive evidence. Uh, as I said, is lust an emotion? Asking for a friend. Hmm. I don't know. That's a huh? Is that an emotion? Oh. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. I. Huh, yeah, I'm gonna have to think about that boy. That's oh bro, fix the they won't be oh. on the It's like they're swearing, they're swearing, and they think they're still Christians and they're swearing. And I'm gonna I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a smashing glass sound and then put big red letters. E evil sinner says words that are bad. I mean expletive or whatever. Balcony. <laughs> the God can make you righteous because he's merciful and because of what Jesus did. Okay. And a minute, you must repent and trust alone in Jesus. <laughs> so the, the vote is in. Warren Fu said horny is a very valid emotion. All right. You know, I didn't I never thought about it that way, but I guess you're you're right. I never uh I'm a very emotional person. <laughs> uh I mean my friend is. That's right. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Pragmatic said, which scientist was killed by the church? Uh, Giordano Bruno was sentenced to be burned to death by the Roman Inquisition for his heretical ideas, which he refused to recant. I was going to say, I this, this doesn't happen just all throughout history. <laughs> like Galileo, I think, was like one of the most famous because he was so right, <laughs> you know, and was proven to be so right. But how often did this happen and it wasn't really a, that big of a deal? You know what I mean? Like how many scientists were just slaughtered, you know, for, for just thinking true things or just being reasonable? It's pretty sad. Uh, Ray doesn't even know bananas. Whoa, hey, hey, come on. Asso, let's, okay, that's a little bit, that's below the belt. All right, can you, we, we got to keep the higher ground. Uh, so otherwise uh, we're just as bad as they are but that <laughs> Al said I'm singing my song again oh that's good you got a song so on the on the road again I just can't wait to get on the road again that's I like that song actually but <laughs> I don't know I used to work at Chuck E Cheese and that's how they sang it because of uh, uh Jasper T Jowls that's how, that was his voice. Anyway, it's a whole, it's a deep cut. It's a deep cut. It's a, it's a Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese deep cut. You only get it if you worked there for several fucking years. <laughs> oh, well, let's see, look at the juice. Uh, David Barton, there's a funny little man. <laughs> he is, right? Doesn't he look like he somehow is a kid? Like he's, he looks like he's the Walton family kid that grew up somehow, but like, his face didn't grow up. I don't know. There's something weird about him. There's something. He's like trapped in time somewhere in there. You know, like in the Avengers when they're pushing time through Ant-Man instead of the other. Like something got mixed up. The wires got crossed and he's two different ages. I don't know. He's like a 14-year-old kid and an old man simultaneously. I don't know how it happened. It was very unfortunate. <laughs> but that's, you know, that's what happens when you, when you lie about history. So kids don't. Don't lie about history. Not your goodness. You don't have any trust alone in Jesus. That makes sense. Yes, it makes sense. But well, one question. I don't know. It's a weird question. Is God black or, or white? Is he not a spirit? He's not got a body like a man. Like it. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> He's a good answer. Because the funny thing about this is that they're so similar in all of their beliefs, but they will divide over just about nothing. You know. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> There's a time uh, when, you, and I'm sure you remember this, you interviewed someone who was a witch who practices Wicca. Okay, have you been born again? I was saved my whole life. I was christened. I've never stopped being a Catholic. 
all I did was open up my mind to other religions and I learned that all religions have truth. Oh God. I can't that, like, I hate it when people say stuff like that. Like, cause it's like, Oh, you went exactly the wrong direction. Like, no, no, <laughs> this is the opposite. It's all religions don't have truth. Did you, you were close, you were close, but you just took the wrong turn. Damn it. Jesus said, unless you're born again, you're not into the kingdom of heaven. And I must have been born again because then I remembered who I was by God's grace and I was saved by St. Christopher, so I believe. I'm very repentant, of course, but of course God's issues and commands are different for saints than they are for people. No, the Bible says the born. Bible was edited by William Shakespeare. I'm a New Age Christian. I read the agnostic <laughs> books. I read the Dead Sea Scrolls. I no, read every book I means could. The Gnostic. I wanted to know the truth. <laughs> can I pray for you? Of course you can. Tell me your name again. Lady Catherine of Aragon. I'm yes. a sister. I'm a nun. Okay. <laughs> Lady Catherine of Aragon. All right. And so she works at Game of Thrones, I guess. <laughs> she said she was, look, we don't condone Wicca. So if, if she practices it's Wicca. So, it's so funny that like they're acting like that's the worst thing ever. Like if you practice Wicca, you know, then that's such a bad, <laughs> you can't, you can't actually be a Catholic if you practice Wicca or whatever. Uh, which is just so funny. It's like the, there's their, their focus is so in the wrong spot. Uh, I don't know. That means she left the church. But she still needed the gospel, and that's what I shared with her. Sure wouldn't hurt. Yeah, sure especially wouldn't. someone like that. And you and me. Sure. We're like. But uh, commander said service uh, were all in Latin for a really long time, basically up until the beginning of the 20th century, in a lot of places. Oh my God! You think it's boring now? <laughs> Imagine it in fucking Latin. Jesus. Sure. Having eternal life is a free gift of God. Is that what you're saying? I didn't say free gift from God. I didn't say that. So how do you get to heaven? You have, we believe the same thing you do. You have to recognize no one goes to heaven except through Jesus Christ. You got to repent and trust in him. Exactly. And that's what I tell Catholics that I meet who aren't trusting And they should in know that. No, I'm not saying every Catholic. This is where it's just like, what are you guys even arguing about? You're both like agreeing on the same things. The only thing that you disagree about is how you confess. They think you should confess to a preacher. He thinks you can just think the thoughts to the magic wizard in the sky and you're good. You know, they, the Catholics put kind of like a, a an action to their, which again, like is kind of based off of, as far as I always thought, uh, James, the book of James, talking about faith without works is dead. So they they literally turned their faith practices into actual works. <laughs> you know, and that's what they did. And so it, it, it kind of pushes both of those belief systems into one. I bumped into some Catholics that don't know. So he died for our sins, you know that. Right. How can that help you 2,000 years later? You're under God's wrath, heading for hell. How can the suffering death of Jesus help you 2000 years later i don't know you tell me if you can get a grip of this edward is going to change everything for you the ten commandments are called the moral law you and i broke the law jesus uh michael said yeah the catholic church did bad things find me an organization that hasn't done uh bad things before i only care about how they tried to do better as a result religion only performs to save face yeah that's Honestly, that's the difference right there, because like, you're right. It's a numbers game, right? Like there's going to be like, for instance, if we said like the public school system in a particular state, right? It's going to be, there's going to be a numbers game as far as like, cause it's any a place where there are kids like by the millions. So uh, you're going to have, uh, you know, those types of assaults happen. Right. Um, but the, the difference is what happens afterwards. Right. Uh, the difference is, the public school system has a mechanism for people to be able to, uh, you know, uh, provide information about somebody that was harmful and they immediately take action. It's not, there isn't this, oh, let's hide it because the, what our school looks like is more important than the experience of some, you know, of the children that go here. You know, protecting our image is more important than the children's safety. No, that you, you're like, no, the children's safety is the the highest uh, regard of the faculty. So they have a mechanism to, you know, deal with it. The Catholics proved that they can't be responsible about this. And they continue to prove that they can't be responsible for this. And other churches 
uh, other evangelical churches and everything prove that they can't be responsible of this. If you just Google any given week, just any given week, doesn't matter which one, and you say this week, S.A., uh, youth pastor or priest, something will come up. It's just guaranteed. You know, it happens so often. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. But that they're out here, you know, banning, uh, but they're out here banning drag shows. You know, this is like, oh my God, it's disgusting. Okay. If a religion claims to be the true religion, wouldn't they expect everyone else is wrong by default, no matter what the other religion does? It That only depends if it's mono. If you're talking about monotheism, then yes. If you're talking about like pagan type stuff, you can always just add gods to the canon, right? So, oh, they, they they have their gods. The other group, the Romans have their gods. The Greeks have their gods. Everybody, and it doesn't matter. Like they're they're not canceling each other out. When it's monotheism, though, uh, only one god can exist, and so then everybody's fighting over which one that is, right? And so, if they think that their monotheism is true, then they have to believe that everybody else's monotheism that is different from theirs is not true, right? I don't know. Maybe that. Was, I don't know if that's what you're asking, but <laughs> uh, it's uh, you like that. That's all I'm answering. You think you're a good person? <laughs> no, I have a good parachute. I, I have a good parachute. It's called the Catholic Church. It's a very good parachute. Okay. Um, well, I'm saying the there's Catholic only one Church. parachute, and that's Jesus. No. He is the way, the truth, and the life. So. Did you get the analogy? Sure did. Don't, I sure did. Okay, don't try and save yourself by saying I'm a good person. It's not going to work. Just simply transfer your trust from yourself to the Savior. Yo. Can you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Hey, skeptics, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, he said, oh, Ray Comfort, the used car salesman of apologists. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is such a good way to say it, too, because he, it, it was, like I was saying, like, he, doesn't, he doesn't actually do any uh, apologia. It's all just emotional manipulation he doesn't actually break down and go oh here's the logic based argument you know that william lane craig you know stated and i i updated it to be that like he didn't do he doesn't do any of that <laughs> you know it's just all hey let me tell you a mo metaphor about like not having a parachute in an airplane you want to have a parachute in an airplane that's going down right well all right well i'm, I'm here for you i'm gonna help you out check it out the airplane is reality Okay, and the parachute is my fucking version of my religion, and you better better pick it because otherwise you you your your parachute doesn't work. It's bad. It's a bad kind. Yes, I do. May I give you a Gospel of John? It's a fourth book of the New Testament. Sure. And can I give you a book I've written called Scientific Facts in the Bible? Of course. It's called Save Yourself Some Pain, which is principle. Why does he show himself? What is that? Oh man, is that one of those like fucking? God, I hate those stupid things. The, the fake money thing. like way to pick like i i almost wonder if these have uh just like gray have made more atheists than they have christians because you gotta be pissed off the second thing <laughs> you know like you're you're starting off by pissing somebody off you know like hey here's some money i know you're struggling you're desperate because of the Late stage capitalism that our belief system supports all the time. Uh, oh, oh, just kidding. <laughs> oh, do you believe in magic? We can we can make your life better after you die. Okay, so uh, do it like you know, it's like you're just pissing people off. I'm like, oh, so this is nothing. So I just picked this up because I'm a fucking idiot. Great, thanks. And I hope you don't think I dislike you because I love you very much, and um, I wish you all. The best. God, he sounds such like such an asshole when he says it. It's so obviously fake. It's such an obvious lie that I just I can't. It's just it makes me want to grit my teeth until they break every time I hear him say, well, "I love you very much. I do. I do. I love you." Like you just sound like a crazy person. You don't know the guy, man. Best. And I hope you think about what we talked about. Well, I always think about what I hear you talk about. You read the comments on YouTube? All the time. I'll send a few your way. He's the Matilda's dad of apologists. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. The Danny DeVito character. Is that <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, as I said, wouldn't be like you wouldn't know his script. I know that I'm surprised. I guess because it's just so many people don't, uh, you know, don't don't watch this kind of YouTube. But I'm so surprised that like most people don't know his script, right? Like, how do you how? And most of them are Christians too, which is like, how the fuck? How are you a Christian watching Christian YouTube stuff, you know? And this guy never comes up, 
you know, <laughs> I swear I, when I made my dummy account and I started just liking and subscribing to like fundy stuff, Ray comfort was almost the first one <laughs> to pop up I'm like, Oh, you must be wanting to watch this, you know? And I was like, yeah, okay. Yep. That's actually, yep. Okay. Yeah. You're not as bad as I thought you were. <laughs> Let me head back and we'll I'll go over a couple uh a few of these comments and then we'll we'll pack it in for the day. Okay. Uh let's see here. But if you want to pack it in or something, just go to adamandeve.com, enter code word Brentley at checkout to get 50% off almost any one item. Six free movies, three free gifts, free shipping on the whole order. Go to adamandeve.com, enter that code word Brentley at checkout. That's B-R-E-N-T-L-Y, and get your exclusive offer. Get your butt some stuff. You know, I know the holiday season is over. I'm sure you got a bunch of butts stuff, but there's, I'm sure there's another holiday coming up with the, uh, oh, oh, Valentine's. That's the day to get the butt stuff, you know, it's for, uh, for Valentine's, you know, and maybe make it a, I'm, I'm sure they got bright red colors for the butt plugs and everything that you are definitely going to get for that. Right. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so go to, go to adamandeve.com, enter code with Brentley. That's B R E N T L Y at checkout. Get that uh, exclusive offer. Also, if you want to like and subscribe, and share the show, comment below, all that type of stuff, really does help. <laughs> you know, helps uh, helps get us out there. But hey, main thing though, y'all know, is to stay logical, loving, skeptical, and compassionate. And we'll see you next time. 